from an octopus with toxins more potent than cyanide to jellyfish encounters that can result in heart failure, here are nine of the most venomous sea creatures in the world. Number 9. Yellow Boxfish The yellow boxfish is named after its shape. Have a look, they're shaped a lot like a box. But this shape can often come in handy. Even though they're small, never growing larger than 45 centimetres, they're really strong. Their skin is plated with armour that only allows their eyes, mouths, tails and fins through. They're pretty much an underwater tank. Because of this, predators don't try biting them. Would you want to break your tooth on a boxfish? I didn't think so. But their strength is only one element of their defensive apparatus. They're also quite poisonous. They deploy some unique toxins such as pahutoxin and ostracotoxin which they release from their skin as saliva in defence. These toxins are capable of depriving anything around the boxfish of oxygen. It's such a strong toxin that it can kill everything within a tank full of fish. Such toxins can be so powerful that, occasionally, boxfish accidentally kill themselves in the process of fending off their predators. But most of the time, the yellow boxfish is a peaceful creature. Just don't annoy it, it has a lot of defence mechanisms. Number 8. Portuguese Man o' War While it looks like a jellyfish, this strange siphonophore is an animal that is a colony of tinier organisms operating together. The Portuguese Man o' War is actually composed of a few tinier organisms whose jobs are so interconnected that if they were to be separated, they would be unable to survive. You might think that this animal is a jellyfish, but that's not quite right. Because of that, they always stick together and their tentacle parts are then used to prey upon small sea creatures that intersect their path. Their tentacle organism can grow up to 160 feet long, but that's not their only intimidating feature. Their tentacles have a bunch of nematocysts, which are pretty much like little spikes filled with venom which they use to capture their prey, enveloping them beyond escape. They can distribute this venom into their prey, paralysing them and ending their lives in turn. Thankfully, the man of war sting is not quite powerful enough to kill a human, but it will not be fun to experience. Naomi Mateos, a 22-year-old woman who went swimming in Spain last year, felt a paralyzing sting as she enjoyed the water, just 30 feet from the shore. Mateos, who reportedly wanted to die from the sheer agony of her injuries, was rushed to the hospital, where she received morphine. Her arms, back and chest were covered in marks from the creature. Their common given name is because their floating part bears a striking resemblance to the Portuguese warship. Have you ever seen one of these before? Let me know in the comments. And please, hit that subscribe button if you're new here. Number 7. Nudie Branch Nudie branches are some of the weirdest creatures in the entire ocean. There are some 2,000 different species of them all over the world, but the fact that they are so widespread is something of a mystery. How could such a tiny sea slug with no shell proliferate so widely? Well, they're prepared to do things that most other sea creatures aren't. They're known for being able to ingest the toxins from their prey, and some of them even steal the stingers from other poisonous animals. Since they can ingest these toxins, that means that they're poisonous if eaten themselves. Because of that, predators tend to keep their distance. Scientists still haven't figured out how nudie branches can live after eating so much poison. But it sure does seem to be working well for them, given the sheer number of them that are in the sea. The man o' war nudie branch will also sometimes take on the Portuguese man o' war, which I just discussed, even though they're so poisonous. And their appearance is also very out there. Some have even called them the psychedelic thieves of the sea. Number 6. Beaked Sea Snake Beaked sea snakes, which live off the coast of Asia and Australia, have been causing trouble to fishermen for years. Snakes that swim through the sea are not going out of their way to attack humans. Even if they're venomous, humans are not recognised as food for them. But these snakes are often caught in fishing nets and whenever they're pulled up can accidentally strike at the fishermen. They're not aggressive per se, but they're provoked easily. That's why they account for most of the deaths from sea snakes per year. The beaked sea snake delivers a venom that is 8 times deadlier than the cobra. A full injection of venom could kill around 22 humans. 
but most of the time they just go after catfish and other sea creatures. Weirdly enough, the beaked sea snake is not a single species at all, but two distinct species that evolved to a similar place. They likely had to face similar challenges in their environment and adjusted accordingly. They look and act so much alike that people thought they were one species for years. Strange to think that fish in Asia and Australia could end up having so much in common. Number 5. Striped Pajama Squid The so-called striped pajama squid is such a cute sea creature, it looks just like it's wearing a set of striped pajamas. However, this squid is actually a kind of cuttlefish. Do sea creatures wear pajamas? Well, no. But some of them look like they do. Underneath this cuttlefish's cuddly exterior is a deadly secret. It's very poisonous. That makes it one of the few cephalopods in the ocean that can deploy poison. The striped pajama pattern on this cuttlefish is distinctive, but it's a way to signal to predators that it isn't to be messed with. But that's not the only trick it has up its sleeve. Like other cuttlefish, this little guy is well versed in the art of espionage. When the sun is shining, the striped pajama squid knows to bury itself amidst an array of shells and sand, letting only the top of its head above ground. This shields it from most predators in its vicinity. It can also change colours to blend in more smoothly. Where does the striped pajama squid's venom come from? It produces saliva which contains tetrodotoxin, making it one of the worst meals that predators could eat in the ocean. When provoked, the cuttlefish will release the saliva and scare away its trespassers. Number 4. Stonefish It's a stone. It's a coral reef. No. If you look closer, you'll see that it's actually one of the most venomous fish in the world. The aptly called stonefish. They tend to hang out around coastal reefs in the Indo-Pacific, and their camouflage helps them blend right into those areas. If you were just swimming along, you'd probably never notice them either. Even scuba divers have a hard time seeing them. But you should definitely be on the lookout, because if you bump into one, literally, you're in for a bad time. That's because the stonefish is lined with lots of dorsal fin spines, which house some of the deadliest venom in the entire ocean. It can kill a person in under an hour's time. Sunfish don't go after their prey. They lie in wait until a potential meal is less than a body length away, waiting for the perfect time to strike the reef fish on which they dine. They can wait for hours before this happens, but once it does, their strong jaws make it hard for other fish to get away. Thankfully, the stonefish is not out for blood. They aren't trying to attack anyone. Rather, their dorsal fin spines are another way they can send predators running. If someone tries to eat the stonefish, then they're not going to like it. And they'll probably die soon after. Number 3. Poisonous Pufferfish When you look at a pufferfish from up close, they don't seem all that dangerous. They're just a normal fish, supposedly, until they puff themselves up out of proportion. This is good for them since they're not very fast swimmers. Their ability to puff up makes most predators look the other way. Some species even have spikes all over their bodies, which makes them even less appetizing to pursuing patrons looking for a snack. While pufferfish are perhaps well known for the fact that they, well, puff up, there is actually another reason you should pay attention to them. They're incredibly poisonous. Their flesh and organs contain the deadly neurotoxin tetrodotoxin, which is more than 1,000 times stronger than cyanide. This also makes them taste really gross, but that's obviously not the only reason you shouldn't eat them. But while eating pufferfish is ill-advised, there are some culinary adventurous people out there who want to take a bite regardless of the danger. While the chefs who prepare them do have to be well trained at filtering out the poison from their skin, Pufferfish is considered something of a delicacy in Japan due to its rarity, but still, 30 to 50 people end up in the ER yearly because of eating it. Have you ever eaten pufferfish? Or are you interested in doing so? Let me know why in the comments below. Number 2. Blue Ringed Octopus The Blue Ringed Octopus knocks all of its cousins out of the water when it comes to poisonousness. We don't think of most octopuses as particularly dangerous, even though all contain some kind of venom. Most of them don't have enough to seriously harm humans. In fact, the blue ringed octopus venom is so toxic that it could kill around 26 humans in mere minutes. And there isn't any anti-venom currently on the market. It's pretty strange to think of how dangerous these animals can be because they look downright adorable. On the outside, their blue rings look more like a Pink Floyd poster than the skin of an octopus. 
But these blue rings, which appear when the octopus is in harm's way, are actually a loud signal for other animals to keep their distance. If you eat me, you are going to die. And it's not going to be pretty. When they strike their victims, they become paralyzed, leaving the octopus with an easy meal. After the initial strike, their victims might go blind and incapable of muscle movement. Pretty much, you become a sensory vegetable. Since it stops all muscle movement, the heart and lungs meet a similar fate, leading to death. Thankfully, they only bite if they're in a pinch. But the moral of the story is, stay away from blue-ringed octopus. Number one, box jellyfish. Jellyfish can give their victims a nasty sting, but they don't often kill people, right? Well, when it comes to box jellyfish, that is wrong. Every year, between 20 to 40 people die from box jellyfish stings in the Philippines alone. That data is on the conservative side, meaning it's probably a big undercount. Box jellyfish are often cited as the most venomous marine animal in all of the Earth's oceans. Box jellyfish earn their name because they're literally shaped like boxes, apart from their tentacles, which is where the venom enters into the picture. Their tentacles are ridden with loads of nematocysts, and if you get hit by one of these nematocysts, prepare for some unforeseen consequences. Victims often become paralyzed or have heart attacks, and it's not uncommon for those conditions to lead to death. This can occur just minutes after the injection of venom. Scarily enough, box jellyfish have yet another feature that separates them from the rest of the jellyfish pack. They can swim. Most jellyfish just ride the currents, but scientists have hypothesized that box jellyfish can actively seek out their prey, and they have a pretty advanced set of visual apparatus. These factors combined with their deadly venom probably implies that anything within the box jellyfish's path is in some serious danger. Thank you all for watching. What's your favorite venomous sea creature on this list? Let me know in the comments below, and be sure to like this video and hit the notification bell to stay updated on everything Epic Wildlife.